Hey guys, how's it going? James Neville Taylor here, coming to you from the Builder or Mansion in Orlando, Florida. And I just wanted to come and talk to you today about a couple of things. Just had a surprise uh, guest and speech from legendary marketer David Sharp. And he's set us a challenge to do 90 days of content and how important daily consistent action is. And I don't put out nowhere near as much content as I could and probably as much content as I should either. So I'm going to be committing to this 90 day challenge. I'm going to put out one piece of content at least per day for the next 90 days. In fact, I'm going to do one piece of content for the next six months. The last, the last half of the year, I'm going to be doing one piece of content every single day. So I'm going to be branding myself, putting myself out there and being consistent with my content which is really what I need to be and what anyone should be if they want to take their business to the next level so first thing that I want to do this is kind of impromptu I haven't really planned anything today but sometimes the impromptu stuff is more is better than the planned stuff so I want to talk to you a little bit about today about stepping out of your comfort zone and pushing through when you want to quit because most people they stop when they get uncomfortable. They're not willing to do what it takes. They fail and then they stop. And failing shouldn't mean that you stop. The difference between the successful people and the unsuccessful people is the successful people have failed more times than the unsuccessful people have ever tried. So when you fail, when, you, when something doesn't work, don't be discouraged. And the first time you do anything is always going to be bad. I mean, unless you're a natural at something, the first time you do something is going to be bad. The first time you go on camera is really bad. First time you do anything is going to be really bad. And if you want an example of this, you can see <clears throat> my first video um, on my YouTube channel. It was absolutely terrible. Like, I cannot stand watching it. And if you want to go see it, it's on uh, my page, which is banomad.com. So if you want to check out my first video, have a laugh, <laughs> get some inspiration and see how uh, far someone can come from the first time doing something to now. I mean, I'm no, um, I'm not nowhere near as confident as I want to be but I'm leaps and leaps and bounds ahead of where I was just a couple of short years ago. So what I want to inspire you to do and what I want to tell you to do is take, take the action, like Dave said, take the consistent daily action and don't worry if something sucks because it is going to suck the first time. I mean, you, you don't like get in a car the first time and expect to race, uh, race the Formula One, you know? And it's like, when you're first born, you have that mentality instilled in you to keep going and keep overcoming no matter how many times you fail. I mean, when you're a toddler, you don't fall down a few times and say, oh, this walking thing, it's not for me, you know? Um, I'm just gonna crawl around for the rest of my life. You know, you keep getting back up. You get up thousands of times. And most people, when they get older through uh, usually well-meaning people, they um, condition you to be realistic, to stop aiming so high, to do things the way that they're done, just because they've been done that way, which is wrong. Um, like I say, when you're younger, you have everything, you, the mentality to keep picking yourself up, to keep dusting yourself off, and to not care what anyone thinks, and just keep going and keep going and keep getting better. But as we get older, we lose that. Um, so yeah just keep keep being consistent keep practicing and don't worry about looking like an idiot don't worry about looking uh, like an amateur because everyone starts as an amateur you don't just run a marathon you know it takes practice so that's what I've got for you today a little bit of motivation a little bit of inspiration and that's my daily content day one of the 90 day challenge so thanks for tuning in guys i will see you again tomorrow